All right, guys, so we just got one of the biggest EZA events we've ever seen. Actually, it is the biggest one, yeah, because seven units just EZA. Uh, one of them is this Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, has, who has now basically become one of the best defensive units in the game. I, I feel like I could probably say that. Uh, he is capable of getting utterly ridiculous defensive uh, statistics. You know, it's funny because... I literally just already did Machin Buu Arc no items and Super uh, Sage no items for Super Battle Road. But this Vegeta would help out a lot in both. He's going to be great in the Legendary Goku event. He's going to be strong in a lot of places. So we have him fully easy aid, SA-15, Rainbow Star. Let's hop into an event. All right, guys. So we're here on the revived warrior team, which this Vegeta is a part of. Now, Vegeta is going to be very good in that he's on, what, five category teams and one of them is kind of a wonky one for vegeta units and that's the revived warrior team so with him being able to be on here that is definitely a buff for that team uh definitely going to help them out a lot defensively right uh i would say he's probably not going to be too good for revived warrior the stage in general because that last stage is against double tech enemies so you really could be in a bit of trouble there but look at this this man is at basically 100k defense he stacks attack and defense on super attack for six turns, but six turns is a big number. It's 30% for six turns, which is a really big number. Um, he gets 90% attack and defense at the start of turn, which we've already got. And then he gets 15% defense with every attack received up to 60%. So, you know, he needs to take four attacks uh, in order for his defense to be all the way up. Uh, and he needs to get some super attacks up and his defense can still continue to rise. Uh, this Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta... You know, we've never had a good Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta in the game. Well, that's over. Now we do have a good Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. All right, so Vegeta's attack set's going to be 1.1 million. Okay, considering Angel Golden Frieza is lowering his attack stat and Gohan lowered his attack stat, it's not too bad. But we also got... Okay, wow. So we got double super there, but already Vegeta's defense was too high for Goten to even leave a dent in him. That is very, very impressive to me. Already, Vegeta's defense is that high that he's able to cut pretty much tank. Um, now, I decided to hop into the LR Gohan and Goten event because I figured, you know, let's go ahead and test out, you know, this ability uh, pretty quickly. You know, let's go ahead and jump in. Yeah, we have enough health. Um, let's go ahead and jump in here uh, against a tech boss. Probably, eh, they might be the strongest tech boss in the game. I, I mean, I'm talking just Dokkan events, right? Uh, obviously, there's way stronger tech enemies. Uh, in like, you know, the Legendary Goku event, Super Battle Road, places like that. But I do think um, this is going to be a pretty good test to see, you know, what Vegeta is capable of doing. Uh, I'm also going to be very curious. Well, his defense is going to be absolutely through the moon right here because now we have Physical Kid Buu on rotation. Um, so, yeah, his defense, okay, is at 210,000. Um, remember, his attack is, no, it's not lowered anymore from Gohan. Okay. So, wow, this is going to be a really good turn for Vegeta in doing damage as well. Because, again, he's had his six-turn stack. Uh, so, this is going to be his second super attack. Plus, we have Super Saiyan Bardock on rotation. He's a support type unit. Plus, we got Kid Buu giving his 50% attack and defense. So, this is going to be a really good number. Uh, Vegeta's up to 1.59 million, which I will take, considering I think he'll take double digits even from this super attack right here at this point. Um, yep. <laughs> that's pure defensive ability. He does not reduce... He doesn't have damage reduction. That's pure defense. This Vegeta is incredible. He's insane. I've been pleading with people, please do not Baba your SSRs. Make sure you get them full dupes. Make sure you get their SAs up to, up to max. Do all that before you Baba them. Because as soon as the father... It was the father-son Galakan EZA that had me convinced, okay, they're, they could do anything at any time now. Because we did have one previously. Um, what was it for? It was for the um, uh, the family Kamehameha units, right? But that was kind of like a special event for Goku Day. So to me, that had not yet confirmed that they're going to be easy in just like all types of random units. But when they did the Father, Son, Gallic Gun, Trunks, and Vegeta, at that point, I knew, okay, it's a wrap. They're going to just like easy all types of random units. So I've been telling people, do not Baba SSRs ever. Because these units, like, were all pretty much all bad. Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta was bad. Um, you know, in Android 13, I would say, was bad. STR Boo was bad. 
Honestly, Nova Shenron was not impressive in any way. Uh, I rainbowed him during the four-year anniversary on JP. You know, like, Int Metal Cooler was still good. Um, the physical Super Saiyan Goku was definitely usable. Tacky Android 13 I actually thought was surprisingly decent for a free-to-play unit. But now? Now, they're all beasts, behemoths now. It's crazy. Um, okay, so without physical Kid Buu on rotation, and his defense is 250,000. So, otherwise known as um, Gohan and Goten cannot damage him at all. So, alright, this was a revived warrior team. Um, I mean, he's just super freaking impressive. I, that's about all I can say. He's not going to get touched. He is exactly the type of unit I like. What do I like? Defense. What is he good at? Defense. Alright guys, so we're on our next category team. Uh, today we are, well this time we're on uh, the Piccolo uh, Rival slash the Mechian team. Uh, this Vegeta of course is on Rivals. Uh, basically any Vegeta post uh, Frieza Saga really I think is added onto the Rival team. So uh, Vegeta, you know, th this potentially could be good. You know, we'll eventually see what happens with like Super Battle Road Sages and whatnot. Like, you know, are we ever going to get new Super Battle Road Sages? But... You know, having good options in all these category teams is definitely good. Like, one thing about this update that's, ooh, d additional is so helpful on this Vegeta. Because he gets to six turn stacks, like, if you get additional supers at all, it is huge for the extra defense, especially, that this Vegeta is going to be able to provide. Like, he is just going to be crazy. But this update was so good. In that it, dude, the amount of units it, like, or the amount of category teams it buffed is just, like, through the roof. Like, you know, things like Shadow Dragon, Artificial Life Form, uh, Namekian, like, this was, uh, like, one of my favorite updates ever. Like, just a huge chunk of units just drop on us. Like, easy A's are, again, the best thing in the game, as I've said over and over and over. Um, because, ev like, every player has access to these units. Like, if you've been playing Dokkan at all for longer than, you know, like, 50 days or something like that, you're gonna have some of these seven units. And then, like, you know, Tacky Android 13, he's completely free to play. So, yeah, like, everyone can easily get him. And they just turned him from the hardest unit in the game to rainbow outside of summonable LRs to, uh, a not that bad like you know it's he's definitely a bit more annoying than some other free-to-play units but he's nowhere on the level of what he used to be um, because now you know you can get a lot of those medals to drop uh, per run which is very very good okay so we got our boy piccolo uh you know we can use his active skill i'll probably just pass on that for now um okay so this will be good i would love for vegeta what's vegeta's defense by the way <laughs> Hundred and sixty-five thousand already that's that's fun that's fun um, I would love to see what happens if Jiren can super attack this Vegeta right here. I mean, I, as we can see, like, we know it's just going to be double-digit damage. Like, tight disadvantage, that, that, that stuff doesn't really matter. Vegeta's just going to tank it. So, let, let's see what he does. I think Jiren does lower defense on super attack. He does. Okay, so that, that, that'll that be worthy of keeping note for later on in the fight. Like, um, you know, like Broly or Jiren or Evolution Blue Vegeta... Uh, some of these bosses do lower defense on super attack, so that potentially could be an issue um, for Vegeta. But, like, you know, it's not that often that you're going to encounter, like, uh, bosses that do that. Also, Piccolo allowing us to see where the super attacks are, that, that makes it so good for a fight like this. Because then it's like, okay, we'll just slide Nail uh, wherever, you know, Jiren is tossing that super attack, right? Because Nail is going to have the highest defense here, 200,000, beautiful. Uh, he's stacked. Then he stacks his defense, of course. Uh, he's got damage reduction. So Jiren is not going to be able to touch Nail. Like, this team, you know, here's the thing. If you've got the pieces for this team, this team is going to be fun. But unfortunately, the pieces for this team requires you to summon deep on the current banner. You've got to have Nail and Piccolo. And then, you know, you run them as a rotation. You can't be hurt on that rotation. Then on the second rotation... I don't know, run like MVP 17 and then AGL Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta or something like that. And you're not going to be able to be hurt on that rotation either. Or, you know, Piccolo... Uh, I mean, see, if only Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta had shocking speed, that would help him out a lot on this team. But he's only got prepared for battle. One negative about Vegeta, by the way, that's going to pop up uh, is the fact that he basically doesn't have attack links. He has Super Saiyan and Saiyan Warrior Race. Besides that... Golden Warrior, Royal Lineage, Revival, Prepared for Battle, Shattering Limit, 
filled up with key links. So <clears throat> he is mainly going to be a defensive unit. Keep that in mind. Um, Vegeta does not have his defense lowered anymore. Wow. Okay, that's it. I, it it's just it's just GG. Like Jiren is not going to damage us at all. He, he can't he can't hurt us. This team, this team, man. This team is going to work out pretty, pretty good. Just double digits across the board. There you go. Thanks for playing, Jiren. On to the next team. All right, guys. So now we're over here on the Vegeta family team. I wanted to see how uh, our boy Vegeta would do with LRB Pan. Uh, we are a number of turns in here. So, you know, Vegeta has been getting his super attack stacks. I mean, as you guys can see, he's at 292,000 defense. So... Uh, <laughs> his defense is pretty high. Uh, let's use LRB Pan, and uh, let's see what number he can get to uh, in the attacks that range uh, via LRB Pan and her majestic active skill. I was going to show Vegeta on the uh, Pure Saiyan team as well, but I was like, I mean, it's, there's no, like, there's not really too much of a point. Because, like, where this Vegeta is going to shine for us is, you know, Dokkan Battlefield. Super Battle Road, Easy A's. These are the places where this Vegeta is going to dominate. Two million! Uh, <laughs> that's pretty good considering he cannot be touched. I will take that every day. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta is busted. I mean, all really, all of these units are busted. There's, uh, there's no other way to describe it. They're just, like, absolutely insane. They really really went out of their way to make this batch of units very impressive all right so this is everything at stake super saiyan 2 vegeta his leader skill is agl tech and physical types 3 key and 80 percent hp attack and defense so that's it's solid it covers a lot of typings but you're not going to use him as a leader his super attack is the final impact which does supreme damage and raises attack and defense by 30% for six turns. So that is pretty good. His passive skill is Desperate Attack, which is 90% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets 15% defense with every attack received up to a max of 60%. So combining his stacking attack and defense from his super, plus his passive, plus his very high stats as an EZA unit, and he, you know, he's just going to tank really, really well. And he's going to do a reasonable amount of damage too he's going to be above a million most of the time he's just a very impressive unit his links are super saiyan saiyan warrior race golden warrior royal lineage revival prepared for battle and shattering the limit you know not great that he's full of key links but you know it is what it is uh his swoki multiplier is 135 percent which is a little lower but i mean he's more of a defensive card anyway right so that's not really that big of a deal Finally, Vegeta is on a lot of category teams, which is good. Most Vegeta cards are on a lot of different teams. Uh, so, number one, he's on the Revived Warrior team. Uh, definitely a solid unit over there. Uh, he is also over here on the Majin Buu Arc team, where we did not look at him. But I'll probably take him into Buu Arc Super Battle Road uh, to test him out there. Uh, then he is also on here on the Pure Saiyan team. Uh, another big-time defensive option for that team is always nice. Uh, then over here, he is on the Vegeta family team. This is probably where he'll be able to get his best attack stat. Uh, and then finally, he is on the rival team. Uh, you know, one of the, you know, two categories that Piccolo is the leader of. Rivals is okay, but definitely needs some better units added to it at some point, right? So there we go. There is Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Uh, the best Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta card in the game by far. Finally, we have a really good one, so this update did us a real solid with that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.